country of origin, United Kingdom, UK. I guess it still is, huh? One of our rentals was having trouble with her instant on-demand tankless hot water heater for their domestic potable hot water. And I spent a half an hour on the phone with my low battery antique Samsung phone. We diagnosed everything and all checked out. Run the water and as soon as you turn off the hot water, tick, the over limit switch trips. I just bought a new one for $40. What a waste. Oops, just dropped the box. What a waste, because as it turns out, the element has a short circuit and it only trips the over limit thermal cutout when you turn the water off as it cools. Poof. So they sent me a new one because it's got a 10 year warranty on the elements. This unit is $750 and the elements are $250. So I figured, why spend $250 on an element when you can buy a whole brand new one? Bought the over limit switch. That was a waste of money. It's right there. Called them, ran through the diagnosis, took a half hour, 45 minutes. And they said, well, I guess your element's bad. We'll mail you a new one. Or we can sell you a brand new unit for half price, $340, a little bit less than half price. And it's got a 10 year warranty. I said, I don't know, 340 bucks to upgrade for something I don't really like. I think these tankless should have a couple gallon a 10 liter reservoir tank to give you a bit more hot water. This pot just brings the water up to room temperature from whatever it is, 45 degrees Celsius when it exits the ground. And this one gets burning hot. I don't know, I said, uh, just send me the brand new element and if this thing craps out again, I'll just put in a conventional hot water tank. Now how do I get this thing out of here? I've already taken the bolts out of it. Hmm, I think I should read the manual. Maybe it needs a puller. <coughs> Crank it up. 120 amps, 240 volts, three eight gauge cables, all the way to the electric box over there. And I also spoke to the tranny guys. I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's not good news. Problem. Found out why. Ooh, just smushed a bug. Found out why the element's shorting. The entire pot is full of hard water sediments and it ain't coming out. I'm cranking on it and it's jammed in there. So I'm thinking if I screw around with this, I'm going to regret it. They'll have no hot water. At least now they have hot water until the over limit trips. But yep, time to put it back together. I could remove this pot, undo the fitting and take the screws off and take the wires off but it could be cooked into this hard plastic whatever that is so I'm gonna put it back together and go buy a brand new hot water tank and put it over there there's our problem I just cleaned this twice sediment hard water oh boy nothing's ever simple huh like my transmission in my suburban Instant on-demand tankless electric hot water. <sighs> well, at least it's not leaking. I can't believe it's not leaking. Crank her up. And when the water flow slows down, the uh, gizmo turns itself off. It has a little tiny propeller that monitors the water flow. Maybe I'll turn on the shower. Now I gotta flush that rust through. Sediment, hard water, minerals, whatever it is, it ain't good. Yep, junk.
I have to put in a water filter. Water filtration. And the drain septic field for this house is high up. So there's a pump behind the toilet that pumps the sewage uphill to the drain. Sewage pump! Yep, sewage likes to run downhill. And we have a sewage pump. Something else to malfunction right there behind the toilet. Something else to go wrong on a nice cold wall. I think we have a fly problem. Time for some sticky paper. I'm wondering where the flies were coming from. Get some sticky paper out of the suburban, like dead suburban. Called up a fancy tranny place. He says, 84? That's the old junk transmission. Put that 88 in that you have and we'll sell you a rebuild. $1,900. Oh boy, I just want to drive the truck. I don't need no fancy high performance 12 vein pump. Yeah, I know it's better, but it's also $2,000 and a huge job to put it in. CW will be here any minute. He's going to be so happy to know that we have to buy a $600 water tank. He'll be thrilled. Thrilled. How much hot water are we going to have before it blows up? Here's what the element looks like. Brand new. Made in the UK. The United Kingdom. $200. Oh well. Junk. <laughs>